morning. A growing number of people are skipping their second dose of the COVID vaccine, thinking just some protection is enough. Others who get the shot wonder whether it's actually working if they're not really seeing a reaction. And Channel 11's Angie Moreski gets to the bottom of these questions and whether the vaccine can cause a false positive in your mammogram in this morning's Fact versus Fiction report. A growing number of people getting their first dose of the COVID vaccine are skipping their second dose. Both Pfizer and Moderna vaccines offer about 80% protection after that first dose, and some think that's good enough, even though that protection jumps to 95% after the second shot. So we ask, is one dose enough to provide sufficient protection? Head of Infection Prevention at UPMC says no. The stronger protection you get from the second dose makes it very important. Preventing you from getting sick, preventing you from having serious complications, and for preventing you from being contagious. I wouldn't risk being uh, having partial protection against all three of those with only one dose, even if one dose gets you a good part of the way to that. There's also growing debate over folks who've already had COVID. Could one shot be enough for them since they already have some antibodies? Is it almost like having three doses? Is there any danger or problem with that? No, it's kind of like uh, being re-exposed to an infection like influenza. Uh, it just is a way to remind our immune system again that uh, it should be prepared for this virus. So Dr. Snyder says this is false. Stick to the plan. That second dose gives you longer lasting, more durable immunity. Now, another concern we're hearing is if you get the vaccine but don't have symptoms, does that mean it didn't work as well? When it comes to symptoms, some people get just a sore arm while others experience much more severe symptoms like fever, aches and fatigue. Is that a bad sign if you don't get any symptoms from the vaccine that it's not working? Not at all. That spectrum of response to the vaccine is normal. The vaccine is highly effective whether you have no symptoms after the vaccine or you have some of the symptoms that could occur. So no worries. This is false. If you're healthy and you don't have symptoms when you get the vaccine, research shows it is still working. OK, this is an important one for women. Can the vaccine cause a false positive on your mammogram? Some women are experiencing swollen lymph nodes in their underarm when they get the vaccine, which does go away. But because swollen lymph nodes can also be a sign of cancer, it can create some confusion on a mammogram. When they do the mammogram or the chest CT, they could see those lymph nodes and not being able to tell the difference between vaccine or cancer. So the way to avoid that would be to wait a few weeks after your vaccine before you do the cancer screening. So this is true, but it is still very important to get your mammogram. Experts say talk to your doctor, but you might want to wait four to six weeks after the vaccine to avoid any confusion. With your Fact Fiction Race to Vaccinate report, I'm Angie Moreski.